What is going on you guys? You're watching another episode of Black River Boys. Today we are out in the Kettle Moraine State Forest. Gonna be doing a little tent review for you guys. We got the REI Groundbreaker two-person tent. Gonna be taking this on my trip out to Colorado in a few months. Um, yeah, we're gonna be setting this up, doing a little brief overview of the tent, get some specs, get the weight, and uh, you guys are gonna see me set this up, so let's get right to it. While we're getting this untied, I can give you some some specs on this tent. Uh, obviously, this one's a two-person tent. It's got a four-pound, five-ounce carry weight. It's gonna be 88 inches long, 52 inches wide, and then 40 inches high. So definitely a small footprint, but does have a little bit of weight. And then it will have looks like just two sets of tent poles. I lied, three sets. Um, that third one's probably going to be for the rain fly that it comes with, but we will see. All right, as you guys can see here, got the setup down. So it pops in right there, and then you have little clips all along instead of running it through like how most tents have it, where you have that fabric piece that it runs through. You just clip it on there. That kind of holds the two together at the top. And then, um, yeah, you can see kind of that real small footprint in there. Got the backside, little mesh window on the front and back and then kind of just a mesh top all the way around okay so now that we have the footprint down and the tent set up we are going to put the stakes in the ground here stake it down and then we will get the rain fly on top and then you guys will see kind of the whole setup of this tent i'll get inside kind of show you guys how like roomy or not roomy it is but uh yeah we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll see what it looks like when it's all set up. So we do have the rain fly on now. Uh, it kind of goes right in with the other tent pole. And there's some Velcro straps in there. Little side view of it. From behind. Other side here. And then back to kind of how it's looking in the front. It is off center. So I have everything else lined up, so I don't know if that's supposed to be, I would assume it's supposed to be like that, but uh, I got everything lined up pretty good. It definitely looks like they kind of have it angled out on the, um, maybe so it's not coming right out in front of the door, cut off to the side, but now that we've got it all set up, let's take a look inside. That's kind of the whole, the whole setup in there. It 
this is what it'll look like with me in it. I'm only 5'10". It is obviously that two person tent, so it'll kind of be pretty snug in here if you definitely have two people in here. Um, definitely has a pretty sharp angle um, from the bottom to the center, but we got a mesh window here that'll close up. Um, you have a little mesh pocket here for like wallet, phone, keys, and uh, one right over my head right here as well. Um, you do have some little bit of little pulley, not even pulleys. Um, you can hang some little lanterns here um, at the top if you'd like, but that's kind of it on the inside of this tent. And uh, yeah, definitely pretty good for 80 bucks. This nice little rain fly. I want to say that the other, the other one that they had was like the passenger two person. That one was like 130 bucks, but it had a total rain fly, and the windows on it, um, it wasn't mesh all the way around the top, so kind of offset there. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If this is a good tent for camping out in Colorado, or if you think I should go with something way lighter way smaller um, and way more packable um, just because it is kind of a big bag but uh, yeah overall definitely a good size tent especially for a two person a uh, nice little rain fly but yeah let me know if you guys like this video and what your thoughts are on this groundbreaker two-person tent from REI